All right, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about basic surfaces in Fusion 360. This is my first video on surfacing in Fusion 360, and it's definitely where you're gonna to want to start. And so we're just gonna swap on over. And I've already created this sketch. It's just a, a spline combined with an arch. Um, and that's gonna be the basis of our um, surface. And so from there, excuse me, um, we're just going to click extrude and it selects it as if it's like a shape um, and you have the arrow you can draw from you also have um, the angle uh, for degree of of how the extrusion will, will fan out um, <clears throat> and so we're just actually or you can type in the distance here or the distance uh, right here so we're gonna actually just pull this up for right now and you can see that it's making a three-dimensional plane uh, if you will um, and with that, you can also do an offset plane. And so if you're doing an offset plane, then you want to type in the offset, let's just say 0.5, and it will take it off of the actual sketch itself. Um, you can also do it from an object. So in this case, let's see if I can get the, yep. I can say I want it to be projected from there, from this face of this box. So you can also do that. Uh, which makes it kind of nice. You can have all your sketches on one plane and then just drop them in different areas. I personally don't like doing that. I personally like putting the sketches where they're going to be, but that's just pre personal preference. With the direction, you can choose one direction. You can choose two directions, or you can also choose uh, symmetric. So you're going to have the exact same distance. And you can also choose your distance being measured from your sketch to one end, or you can do it from end to end just depending on, again, personal preference. For distance, you can just do the normal, typical distance where you're gonna be typing it in or dragging uh, the arrow, or you could also do it up to an object. So in this case, again, like the, air, the box, it's just going to extrude it up to that point. You can also do, um, and with that, sorry, you can also do a chain face where this is just currently, part of it is just meeting up with this and mating with this face. If this was a curved face, you could choose this and it will actually blend into that that curve face rather than just a um, rather than extruding just to this plane you can have it extrude to another surface for example and then the last is through all in this case you can't really see anything because it would be extending it to everything um, it doesn't really work um, but yep so we'll go back to distance again with the taper I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. You can either taper with this angles right here or the toggle, but you can see that this specific sketch doesn't have a lot of variance, or you can actually type in that dis, uh, taper angle right there. For the operations, you can create a new body or a new component. Just as a reminder, a new component is kind of like a new part uh, in terms of like uh, for assemblies and things. Um, but that's it. Uh, that is the a very basic intro and uh, just a yeah, quick intro to show you how to manip manipulate and use extrude specifically for creating a surface. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comment below. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I've really been enjoying making these and I hope to continue to do so. Uh, and I will hopefully see you next time. So we'll see ya.